Welcome to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. God uses ordinary people in extraordinary ways. Do you believe that? I remember a movie I saw many years ago called Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, and they were being pursued by these fellas, and uh, I can't remember the exact scenario of the movie, but three or four times during the movie, when they were being pursued by these fellas who wanted to catch up with them and capture them, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid looked at each other and they said, who are those guys? Well, can you imagine when the disciples started doing amazing things, miracles, giving sight to the blind, taking away afflictions, healing diseases, casting out demons, that people saw that, especially if Jesus wasn't with them, that people saw that and he said, who are those guys? Now, listen to what this says. This is what verse 1 of chapter 10 of the book of Matthew says, and he called, Jesus called to himself, his 12 disciples, and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and every affliction. Did you hear that? These guys did amazing things, and I'm sure people were saying, who are these guys? They must be rich. They must be influential. They must be successful. They must be like the CFOs of their company or the CEOs. They must be highly educated. They must have been PhDs. He's using these extraordinary people in extraordinary ways. You kind of expect that. But then verse 2 says who they were. Listen to this. The names of the 12 apostles are these, and it doesn't say they were all CEOs of their company. It doesn't say that, okay? <laughs> the names of the 12 apostles are these. Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother. James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector. James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus. Simon, the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Okay, who were these guys? None of them rich, none of them influential, none of them successful. Um, four fishermen, a tax collector, and one who betrayed Jesus, and the rest of them were just regular, the other six were just regular guys. Nothing extraordinary about them, no big track record, no successful um, resume. <laughs> I mean, they didn't even have a resume. Did they say, hey, I want to be your apostle, Lord Jesus. Look at my resume. Look at my qualifications. Look at how much money I made. Look at how successful I am. No, Jesus used ordinary men, chose ordinary men, and used them in extraordinary ways. Hmm. I'm thinking of Acts chapter 4, when Peter and John are standing in front of the religious leaders, and and... The religious leaders are asking them, how did you make this cripple that was in front of the temple gate? How did you make him well? And this is what Peter said. Listen to this. He said, men of Israel, if we're called to account as to why this cripple stands before you totally healed, then let it be known to you that it is by the power of Jesus, whom you crucified, but God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you completely well. And he is the stone which the builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. And salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name given among men by which we must be saved except the saving name of Jesus. Now, Peter was saying there, Jesus is the Messiah. And he knew he was risking death saying that in front of the religious leaders who were responsible for nailing Jesus to the cross, right? But listen to what the next verse says. When these religious leaders saw the courage and boldness of Peter and John and recognized that they were just unschooled, ordinary, listen to that, unschooled, uneducated, ordinary men. They were astonished and took note that these men had been with Jesus do you know what makes you extraordinary and special today? It's not your pedigree. It's not your family name. It's not your education. It's not your resume. It's not your experience. It's not your qualifications. It's none of that. Do you know what makes you incredibly extraordinary today? You're a child of God. You've been with Jesus you believe in him as savior. You've built your life on him as Lord. This is the very same thing the disciples were, just regular guys, ordinary guys who had been chosen by God to do extraordinary things. Now, if God can use regular renegade motley crew guys like the disciples, can he not use you to do astounding and amazing things 
even today, to look for opportunities to serve other people, to look for opportunities to testify the grace of God, to look for opportunities to be a servant to everyone around you. Oh my goodness, my friends, so many times we say to ourselves, well, I'm nothing special. There's nothing unique about me. Oh, 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 oh you're wrong. You're wrong. I, I think of that song, who the sun sets free, oh, is free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. And if you are a child of God, bought and redeemed and purchased through the blood of Christ, God has given you a mission. And just as he used these guys, ordinary men in extraordinary ways, he can use you, an ordinary person in extraordinary ways, to serve other people and to make him known. Get after it. Go after it today. Don't have this, woe is me. Oh, nothing special about me. Woe is me. Poor me. I'll never mount to anything. Oh, no, 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 no. You are already, quote, successful because you believe in Jesus, right? And even that is a work of God. So have a joyful spirit today, a joyful attitude today. You are special, you are unique. God uses ordinary people in extraordinary ways. He did that with the disciples. He can do that with you today. And that is today's daily truth. Have a great day in Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.